guys, Kyla. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be doing a bookshelf tour. I'm going to be showing you guys around my entire bookshelf, all of the books that I own. As you guys can see, I have many, many books. I have books behind these books, and I want to talk about all the ones that I own today. I'm not going to be going too in-depth being like, oh, this book is about this for every single one. I may do some mentions of like my favorite ones or ones that I want to read that I know just a little bit about, but I'm not going to be going into every single book like that. At least I'm really going to try. So that is what we are going to be doing today. I have a bookshelf over here that you guys can see books behind it. I have a little bookshelf over there and I have some books on my dresser that I'm going to talk about. So that is the plan for today. It will probably be a long video. So grab a snack, sit down and get cozy. And today we're just going to be talking all about books. So these are the first four shelves, two shelves, whatever you want to call them, of my bookshelf. So I'm going to go through these two shelves and I'll go through these two and then the rest of them down there, you know. We're gonna do it like that, just because I want to. This is my first shelf right here. This is what I would like to call my found family slash Addicted Calloways and Bridgerton series. The Bridgerton series and then, then the Addicted slash Calloway sister series are both such big series and they both remind me of each other so much. So yeah, this little thing that's sitting right here is actually a book embosser. I got it from my boyfriend for Christmas. You don't, it's not a stamp. You like emboss your books, you know, you put the page and then you hold down real tight. It's actually really cute. I'm gonna show you like what it looks like. Let me, it's in this book. Actually, no, it's not. I did not emboss this book yet. Wow. That's like kind of what it looks like if you guys can see that. I tried to emboss every single book that I've like read so far. I need to go through my bookshelves and actually emboss all the books I read. But like as I'm reading physical books and I finish them, I emboss them. That's kind of like been my little thing. I keep my cameras up here as well. I don't know if you guys can see. I have like a little camera collection. Like up here is all my annotating stuff. I have tabs, pens. Then I have all the rest of my cameras and a little teacup because I think it's really cute. So I keep my embosser on top of like my books because that's really the only place and space that I have for it. But right here, we have the Addicted series. I do have Thrive, it's right here. You guys can see it. I'm currently reading it. I'm halfway through, it's so good. And like, it's been such a long time since I've read Ha Ha Flower and Kiss the Sky. So, ha so reading Thrive so I can get back into the series has been a lot of help. I do need to get the rest of them but I bought a new series yesterday, so that's why I haven't done that yet. But I do have all the Addicted series, and then I have the first, I actually have the first five of the Bridgerton series. Right here I have The Duke and I, The Viscount Who Loved Me, An Offer from a Gentleman, Romancing Mr. Bridgerton. All these books are so good. I actually haven't read this one yet, Romancing Mr. Bridgerton. This one is Penelope and what's his face? Colin's story. I just haven't read it yet because I'm not really interested in Penelope or Colin. I don't really care about either characters. In the show I'm interested, but I in the books, like it's kind of different. Um so if you if you know you know. If you know, you know. But the first three of the series are actually really good. My favorite is The Viscount Who Loved Me, Off of Roman Gentleman, and then The Duke and I. The Duke and I really isn't my favorite. Even the first season of Bridgerton wasn't my favorite because I don't really it's not that I don't like the characters. I just compared to the Viscount Who Loved Me, like it's not that good. <laughs> and then behind these books, I have the fifth book of the Bridgerton series, which is To Sir Philip with Love. I'm actually really excited to read this one. This one is Eloise's story. And then I have this book by Georgia Heyer. I thought this used to be like the title of the book. It's not. That's the author's name. The title of the book is right here, Arabella. Also, if you see me look into the side, that's my monitor. I'm trying to look into my lens. Okay, guys, I'm just making sure that everything is in focus, but and then the last two books I have behind these ones is the If I Stay little duet. So it's If I Stay and Where She Went. These books are dusty because I have not read them in such a long time and they've been behind those books for a while. I literally love these books so much. I can finish both of them in one day, like two books in 24 hours because I love them so much and I know the story so well. If I Stay used to be my favorite favorite movie of all time. It still is one of my favorite movies. I just haven't seen it in such a long time. I definitely recommend this little duet to any and everybody. So right here is my little like new adult kind of shelf. These are my honorable mentions of like my favorite ones that I've read so far. If He Had Been With Me is not new adult, but I love this book so much that it needed to be displayed with these, especially with the little color palette. Um, this is like red, pinks, and blacks. 
and then this one is just kind of like an outcast but it's so beautiful it needs to be displayed so we have low layer to whiskey by candy steiner i love this book so much it's a second chance romance it's like right person wrong time throughout the entire book but it's so good i was crying i read it last january and i really really want to reread it and then we have sweet dandelion by michaelia speltzer I have not read this book yet actually so but i do like the way that it looks with the rest of them but i definitely want to read it this year it's just such a thick book like it's so thick but the cover of it is beautiful and then we have a hate like this by violet bloom it is upside down because like this is the cover which is really really cool i really did love this and it's like upside down the spine um, so you have to put it on your shelf like this, which means it's upside down, which is kind of weird. I did really enjoy this book. It's like a, I don't want to say Romeo and Juliet retelling because like I hate Romeo and Juliet. It's rivals to lovers, academically, family wise, you know, like that type of deal. It's really, really good. I gave it either a four or five stars. I think 4.5. The text in here is really small. I'm pretty sure this is self-published as well, which is really cool because I enjoyed it a lot. And then we have If He Had Been With Me. Such a good book. I love this book so much. Five stars. Everybody needs to read it. I read it on my Kindle and then I was like, okay, I have to have the paperback. So I bought it and it's actually a young adult book. Heartbreaking, but so good at the same exact time. Um, and then we have King of Wrath by Anna Huang. Still have not read this book. I know it came out. I think in November I bought, I actually pre-ordered it, but I still haven't read it yet. I don't know. I just haven't been in the mood for like any, because it's like a darker romance. I haven't been in the mood for any of that lately. And then we have Trapped With You by Marzi Opal. I've read this book so many freaking times. I love this book so much. I used to read her on Wattpad actually. And whenever I found her Instagram again a few years later and I saw that she was like publishing a book, I was like, okay, I need to get my hands on that now so I waited until she came out with a discreet cover because I did not like the other cover so I went ahead and bought it it's about this girl and her boyfriend they are trapped in a school together for like some kind of thing between like the cheerleaders and hockey players and it's a second chance romance between the two of them it's really good I really enjoyed it you get to see their love story from like whenever they first met and then you get to see their love story like now it's really good and then we have a million kisses in your lifetime by monica murphy it's such a good book and i gotta move all these books so i can get to the ones behind them i moved all those books over there just so i could show you guys all my books that are behind here i actually keep all my vampire books behind those ones it just kind of worked out that way so the first two books i have right here are the first uh books of a series so the first one is the beautiful by renee adi adi i don't know um it's about new orleans and vampires Kind of deal it was like five bucks at walmart and i was like oh my gosh i want a book and i got it but i still haven't read it and then the second one is crave i did take off the dust jacket and i threw it away whenever i first got this book because i hated them um i actually have read the entirety of this series that is out i'm waiting for the new one that comes out in may aka the last one i really enjoyed the series like a lot it's so good it's like trashy teen vampire like books like it's good okay and then right behind here i have my vampire academy series i have vampire academy frostbite shadow kiss spirit bound blood promise last sacrifice i have like one of the new covers and then the other ones are like this like they have the people on them i think i read these books whenever i was like in middle school or like high school or something like that like 14 i think i was 14 whenever i read these books i loved this series so much i still do like the movies i haven't watched the show on peacock and i kind of refuse to because i only can visualize the characters as they are in the vampire academy movie and there should have been more movies with that same that cast because they played their roles so well freaking loved them i wish they would have continued i also really love the books i want to get the new covers and i really 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 want to binge the entire series and annotated so badly that's right there and then the last three are twilight books so the first one is life and death and then we have the second short life of brie tanner and midnight sun all by stephanie meyer have not read all of them i actually dnf'd midnight sun last november because i just wasn't gonna finish it i knew that of myself yeah that is what is on this shelf so that's what's on these two shelves and now i'm going to show you guys these ones also the lighting kind of changed i'm really sorry about that the sun is like being covered by clouds because it's about to start raining so lighting's going to kind of suck i'm sorry about that 
So on these two shelves, I have a bunch of series, same as the other ones. On this one, I have the entirety of the Shadow Me series. Not every book is shown. One of the novellas is actually behind them because it wouldn't fit with the box set of Court of Thorns and Roses. For Shadow Me, we have Shadow Me, Unravel Me, Ignite Me, Restore Me, Defy Me, Imagine Me, Find Me, which is a novella. And then we have Believe Me, which is just the one. And then we have the entire box set of A Court of Thorns and Roses, which has A Court of Thorns and Roses, Mist and Fury, Rings and Ruin, and Frost and Starlight. I actually just started listening to the audiobook of A Court of Thorns and Roses. I'm confused so far. I'm not sure if I like it yet or not. I probably won't until like halfway through. I really want to get through this entire like series. I know that the first book everybody's like, oh my gosh, it just you just need to read it to get to the second book. So I'm holding out for that. Now I gotta move them so I can show you guys the books behind them. So behind those ones, I have these. I have the other Shatter Me novella, which is Unite Me. And then I have another copy of Shatter Me because I bought the first book originally and then I got the box set for my birthday. And then behind those, I have my other dystopian YA novels. So I have the entire Hiring Game series, which is so good. I actually lied to you guys a few last year, two years ago. I actually lied to you guys in 2021. Whenever I did my 2021 wrap up, I actually did not ever finish Mockingjay. I read half of it and then I was like, okay, I can't handle this pain anymore. I need to stop reading it. And I put it down and I never picked it back up. I really should finish it. But I know what happened. And like, I literally just started crying. Every time I picked up the book, I would cry. And I was like, no, I can't do this to myself anymore. And then I have Divergent and Insurgent. I never got Allegiant. I went thrifting trying to look for it because my bookstores like don't carry it for whatever reason. And then I have The Maze Runner and The Fever Code. Haven't read these ones yet at all. I want to get to it. It's just not on my priority list of books. You know what I mean? So that's what's right there. And it's about to start storming. Oh, why didn't you guys tell me I skipped a book? I couldn't see it from where I was at. Um, I do have A Court of Silver Flames Special Edition from Barnes & Nobles. Like, I love the orange cover because orange is, like, one of my favorite colors. But this cover of it, it's just so much more beautiful. Like, I love it so much more. Whenever I saw this version of it, I knew I had to get it. Why didn't you guys tell me that I missed it? Come on. I thought we were friends. And so then we get to the second shelf right here. The first four books are the Twisted series by Anna Huang, Twisted Love, Twisted Games, Twisted Hate, and Twisted Lies. My favorite book from the series is Twisted Lies and Twisted Love and Twisted Games and Twisted Hate. Twisted Hate was good, but it's also like my least favorite. Twisted Hate is also the only one that I gave four stars. The other ones I gave five stars. It just wasn't like as good as I thought it was going to be, which I don't like to say that because it was still really good. It just like didn't meet the expectation that I had for it. So yeah, still really enjoyed it still one of my favorite series ever and then next to it we have the magnolia park series by jessa hastings i have read the first two magnolia parts and daisy hates so good everybody needs to pick up this entire series it's such an entertaining series and then the third one is magnolia parts a long way home behind these books i actually have a great undoing of daisy hates and then we have the first four books of the brutal birthright series by sophie lark brutal print stolen air savage lover and bloody heart because these are all the illustrated covers are not the old covers with the guys on them them. I refuse to buy those. These are the new ones. I have like the illustrations in them. I'm waiting for the last two of the books to come out and then they'll be added to like my little pile, my little collection. So yeah, really love the series. It's about mafia families uniting and coming together. It's really good actually. And then behind these books, I have the Ravenhood trilogy by Kate Stewart. So we have Flock, Exodus, and The Finish Line. I bought these books because someone on YouTube like really recommended them and was like, oh my gosh, you have to go into a blind. It's so good. And I was like, okay, I bought them. I was gonna read them. I had the full intention of like reading them genuinely. And then I just haven't read them. I've had them for over a year now and I haven't read them. These are the first four shelves of my bookshelf. Now we have four more to go through and then a shelf over there. You're not really gonna be able to see me for this part So that'll be fine. So these are the last four right here I don't have any books behind these. So this is my Cassandra Clare shelf These are all the Cassandra Clare books. I own actually I have one more behind here I have the first one of the dark artifices that I thrifted but i have the entirety of the mortal instrument series this is like it has this fun thing but it still has like the old covers and it's like it's just weird looking i bought it off amazon it was on sale for like 30 bucks and i was like yeah because i don't want to pay 70 dollars which it doesn't line up with these it's fine it's fine I'm not complaining. I'm just explaining. And then we have the first three of the Infernal Devices series. Such beautiful covers. And then right here is like my kind of 
darker shelf. So I have the Dark Verse series by Runix. I have the first three, The Predator, The Reaper, and The Emperor. I've read the first two. I freaking love them. I have yet to finish the series or like read the third one at all, which I know that the third one is about like the brother in here, which oh, I love him so much. I need to get to it. And then I have Stalking Jack the Ripper and Hunting Prince Dracula by Harry Menescalco. And then we have Anastasia by Sophie Lark. Isn't that beautiful? Do you see this? Tell me you see this cover. Like, so beautiful. Haven't read it yet, but it just looks amazing. And then we have the Stay With Me trilogy by Nicole Fiorni. Fiorna? Stay With Me, Even When I'm Gone, Now Open Your Eyes. I'm pretty sure this is self-published as well. I don't know what they're about. I know that it's like set at some kind of boarding school. That's all I know. And then we have The Midnight Library by Matt Haig. Haig? I don't know how you say that. And then we have The Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. I told myself I was gonna read this in October and I never did because I was never in the mood for a spooky read, which which is really upsetting. I will force myself to be reading this this year because I've had it on my bookshelf for almost a year and I really want to read it. And then right behind here, I have the entirety of the Off Campus and Briar U series. If you have not seen my video where I go through every single book and give you my thoughts and opinions about the entire series, you should go watch that. That's right there. And then right here, I have the entirety of Dreamline Billionaire series by Lauren Asher. We have The Fine Print, Terms and Conditions, and Final Offer. Final Offer is my favorite one. I rated it the highest out of all of them. I gave this one a four and a half stars. Terms and Conditions, I gave like a two stars, and Fine Print, I gave a three star. I just didn't really enjoy these books. They were also basically the same exact plot. Final Offer was like the only different one. I loved, loved, loved the brother on this one so much more than the others. And so then we get into these bottom shelves. I can't like zoom on here, which kind of sucks for right now, but I don't really care. So this shelf is all the rest of my YA books, every single one that I own, and then this one is going to be all of the new adult books I own, minus this one right here. I just wanted to display her because she's very pretty. So right here we have the Field Party series by Abby Glines. The first one is Under the Lights. Second one is Until Friday Night, After the Game, Losing the Field, and Making a Play. I've only read the first two, and I really loved them. And whenever I saw this past year that she came out with more, I bought the rest of them. Now there's two more, which I need the rest of them to complete the series, but I need to read these ones so I can continue on with the series. I don't know, it's a whole thing. And then we have the selection series. My sister actually has my copy of the first one, so I don't have that one. And then we have the Delete, the one, the little novella, the Air and the Crown. I really love the series. It's very good. And then these four books, we have Everything Everything, When We Collided, Sun's Also the Star, and Pride and Premeditation. I've only read these two right here by Nicola Yoon. Some of my favorite YA books ever. I just haven't read the rest of them yet. And then behind here we have so many other books. I'm gonna list them. I don't feel like grabbing them. So we have Dance of Thieves, Vow of Thieves, Serpent and Dove, The Inheritance Games, A Problem with Forever, The Last Battle, Love and Gelato, Alex Approximately, Looking for Alaska, and, and two little mystery books and then we have the betrothed and the betrayed and then jane so that is what's on this shelf all the YA books and then we get into right here these are all of my adult books minus this one this one is a thousand heartbeats by kiera cass it's her new book and it is also signed where did she sign it right there that's why it's this late because it's also a very beautiful cover and i love it so much so right here we have all of these books, we have Icebreaker by Hannah Grace, such a great book. I had to get the physical copy. Most of All You by Mia Sheridan, I haven't read this one yet. Love in Other Words by Christina Lauren, very good. And Archer's Voice also by Mia Sheridan. I actually started this one, but I never finished it. Um, not that I DNF'd it, I just put it down for a bit. And then we have all of my Colleen Hoover books right here. End With Us, It Starts With Us, Ugly Love, All Your Perfects, and Heart Bones. Also, I just want to say, I love this cover of Heart Bones way more than the new one that's out with a little spin wheel thing i hate that one keep keep the freaking bones you know what i mean like this one's just so much more beautiful anyway and then behind these books i have other adult books so we have the love hypothesis the wicked love simple wild all the little things every summer after stay with me she's with me and still with me and then we have the summer broken rules and then the last one the american harris i thrifted this one i still haven't read it that's all that is right there that is the entirety of these four shelves now so that is the entirety of this bookshelf i think we completed the hard part of this which is getting through all of these books so this is where most of them are as you can see i have a lot but now we can get into the easy parts which is going to be just the series i have on my dresser and then all of my classics on my other shelf 
so let's just move on so i actually bought these books yesterday they are all of the nude covers of the throne of glass series by sarah j mass so i have the first one throne of glass the assassin's blade and then the third book i did have to order so that is actually coming in the mail and then we have air of fire which is just so freaking beautiful i love this cover queen of shadows which i think may be my favorite empire of storms such a beautiful cover tower of dawn also one of my favorites and then the last one is kingdom of ash which is such a thick book honestly but yeah i just have them sitting up on here just because i don't know where else to put them right now so that's where they live and so then we get into the last of my shelf which is my classic shelf right here that you guys like can't see all the way down like i have this shelf and then there's one more but that's fine so actually on top of here i do have some poetry books that i do keep i have this vincent van gogh one 19 the truth about love softer god and the princess saves herself in this one so up here i actually have my illustrated version of little women by louisa may alcott very beautiful cover and then i have jane austen books right here i have northanger abbey persuasion Mansfield Park and Emma in these beautiful editions that I got for Christmas from my boyfriend and his mom. Just look at them and they're illustrated on the inside which is so cool. And I have another uh, edition of Persuasion so I can like write in this one and annotate in this one because I will not be writing in these books. And then I have Sense and Sensibility. And right here I have some of the last of my classics. I have another version of Little Woman. The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde and Other Stories by Robert Louis Stevens. Davidson, um, Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte, Anna Karina by Leah Toy Story, which is such a thick book, but it's also like so beautiful. And then we have The Great Gatsby and another version of Pride and Prejudice. I did put The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue on here. It's not a classic, but it also didn't fit in anywhere else on those shelves. So I figured it deserved to go with the classics. And then right behind it, I have an illustrated version of Withering Heights. Very beautiful. I really, really want to read this book. I just figured they went together. I also got like the special edition of the P.E. Schwab book because of this. Like, do you guys see that? So beautiful. And like... I have yet to read this book. I only know what I know from like TikTok and stuff, which is pretty much spoiled it for me, but I don't even care. And then we have the special editions of the Twilight series down right here, and then I have the After series, which I'm not going to get into. Um, those series are popular enough for you guys to know what they are, you know what I mean? So yeah, that is the entirety of my bookshelf tour and my book collection. I really hope that you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe. Make sure to subscribe to hang around and get more book content. Let me know in the comments below what other book content you guys want and leave a like and follow me on my instagram all the things just everything but yeah i really hope that you guys enjoyed and i will see you all in my next video peace out